hey guys good evening welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm becky i bring you awesome fun and timely content on all my platforms so make sure you like you comment you share and you subscribe hope you guys have had a great week hope you guys are having a great week today is friday as you watch this video as always thank you for always coming back so today i'm going to be beginning us off with an outing that we went to at fogo we went to the one in kilimani guys it was so packed we didn't have somewhere to sit so we had to go to the one in westy and that one was okay so we had such a great time i don't know if i was talking through these clips <laughs> But you know what guys, enjoy, enjoy and subscribe. Let's do this. Pata kuna kiti mimi naanza kulia nikitembea tu nikienda baba kinyoso. With tears in my eyes. Taka poa do. Hapa kuna space kwa hii side tena. Kuna watu ama tukae hapa. So we go to Wisti, we found somewhere to sit and then you're given these tokens. So this is the side where when you're full, it should be red. If you still want to have more, make it green. They had a place for the sides, the rice, the nyama and all that. Beef, salads were there. This was the menu they gave me at first. I was like, no chill, <laughs> I don't take that. <laughs> So they had a great menu. What drink did I have? I think I had um, the fruit punch. Super nice. I would highly, highly recommend. And the juices are also super fresh. So no pressure. There is a lot. I don't like trying milkshakes because I just don't like them. So yeah, here we were picking our drinks. And then they started serving us. So we had for Bogaucho. I want to start with salad. So basically you go to the serving space. I was going to the serving area to get like salad if you need kachumbari because what they are bringing to your table is the meat. Every other thing is on this um, this out, outlay. So I got some coleslaw. If you know me, you know I love cabbage. So I had to get some. The f most favorite one was the pineapple one not the one i'm serving now the one i will serve next guys i think we overdid this 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 one this one it was the bomb i don't know what they put in those pineapples this pineapple and cucumber salad it was amazing i kept going for seconds that is the one thing i kept going for seconds so we served and then we had our seat and now they started bringing So I'll say one thing for sure, if you love meat, if you're a lover of beef, chicken, such kinds of meat, Fogo is the best, best space for you because they keep coming. They never stop coming to your table. So here they kept coming. So you just serve and you eat to your field. So if you love meat or you have a friend that loves meat, take them here. They will appreciate it. You will have a good time.
Look guys. This is crocodile. I'll taste it and then I'll tell you people. Crocodile, real crocodile meat. Hi, allow me to eat. my channel if you're new here i'm becky i bring you awesome fun and timely content on all my platforms so make sure you like you comment you share and you subscribe and yes it's another vlog that starts in my kitchen guys i love i love this room i love this kitchen so much anyway so happy friday today is the 17th of may and it is so brave of me to start a vlog as i upload a vlog i've been trying to upload this vlog since like one and it's not uploading it's still saying an hour left did that beep oh yeah okay an hour left and it's this internet thing that they keep saying they resolved but the internet has been buffering the everything is just a bit off but it's okay, it's okay. I'm not complaining. The vlog is going to go up, but I know it's going to go up tomorrow. And if it goes up tomorrow, I'm not posting on Sunday and probably not posting on Monday because I, I have to balance. What did I just mean? This thing wiped me with this thing. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's that's just it. Just got home from work. I go and I, guys, I've realized. I realized actually this morning that in every vlog I've been saying I'm tired and you know what I am exhausted but I prayed for these days I prayed for this when I would just be chilling at home from Monday to Sunday and feeling like all I have is to work out and just chill and when I was asking God for a job I was really begging and he heard me and he gave me something that I love so I am not the most tired girl in the world. I rebuke that. I am not the most tired girl this side of earth. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I am just exhausted. I know what being exhausted is okay. So I ain't gonna, mm, my mouth is not gonna talk about that thing. So okay. So welcome to this vlog. This is going to be a weekend vlog. So we're just going to chill today, tomorrow, and probably Sunday and call it a, a vlog. I want to try and vlog every day next week so yeah if that happens you'll see that if it doesn't i don't know but i really want to be consistent 
so i have been very intentional about being consistent on youtube being consistent on instagram being consistent you know all round every platform because i love it anyway just got home uh what do i want to have for dinner let me one moment let me let me talk to this guy baby you're eating father okay he's not eating so i can have something cute i can do girl dinner is he going to give girl dinner i can just do some mint and some spag that's what we are. we're gonna make that that is a few minutes of just whipping up a very yummy meal so yeah i want to unbox a few things i have gotten but first i want to wrap this uh bone for soup yep we have become our parents <laughs> We have become our parents and it is showing, uh, it's showing hers. So I just want to prep bones that we want to use to make soup. Guys, I'm a soup girl. It might not show, but I love soup. I love soups. That's, that's, that's kind of my vibe. This thing is slanted and it's it's eking me out okay we good so i'm a soup girly i just want to bring you guys down a little bit can you guys see that let me make sure that we are in frame okay not bad not not as bad as i thought so just a bit high nice there perfect position so these are bones that we have gotten we have only gotten for 100 bob so that we can see the quality one and if they actually bring forth nice soup so before we splurge oh whoa that's a huge <gasps> yeah i bow when i guess this is a big bone i need to cut it oh it's full of marrow i like it so Let's just prep this now and put it on. Hope you guys can see because I really want to try this soup business. If it works, hey, every month I'm going to be here. Oh, wow. The marrow is a marrow. So we want to try our and that this soup thing like healthy living you know it's oh that's a bit tough but so I'm just trying to be better stewards of these bodies that God has given us I would have started <laughs> let him not hear me <laughs> I would have started working out, but guys, the way my foot has been so painful, I don't know what hit me, I don't know what I stepped on, I don't know what I tripped on, but I cannot even remember, but the way my foot is painful. Hmm. <laughs> hmm? Walking is painful, standing is painful, but today it's a bit better, if I'm being honest, just look at that. Look at that chunk of goodness. Can you see? This is what makes great soup. The marrow. Yum. Yum, yum. I can remove these meaty parts and just put them in my pasta. These ones need to be boiled for a while so that you can get the goodness you need patience but it's okay i have the time so ah, it's not cutting ah, alice means me guys he's giving too much i'm not no 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 soft girl air just trying to be soft i hope Anyway, so I'll put this on and then I will unbox a few 
groceries I have come with from the shops. I was just making a joke the other day and saying, when I was here, <laughs> groceries never used to run out as fast as they do now that I'm not here. As in, I'm at the problem. But you know what? Grateful to God that we can go into shops and shop and come out and go to the teal and you know and bring something home. In this day and age, that's a privilege that I don't take for granted. So yeah, yeah that's an oily cut. Let me wash them and then we will just drop them in. Wash your meat, kids. <laughs> this gives us a lot of soup, though. Because this, I will, I will take even tonight before I sleep. Ooh, 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 ooh. So what do, what, what do people add to soup? <laughs> yeah. Let me just... Okay, not me lighting the wrong cooker. add salt no let me let it boil a bit and then any additives will be added later but at least that is on i wanted to get that out of the way i also need to portion out my mints this is the bulk mints but before this let's sort out the groceries i've brought home so I stepped into the shops today over lunchtime. Oh wow, this is a lot. These I have gotten now a crate. I just opted to be getting a crate, guys. It makes financial sense for me because the way we eat eggs, we love eggs in this house. So a crate just made sense because by the end of the month we have spent money worth like two crates. So, we might as well. Oh. Then, I've also gotten, this is just two more things. Two packs of milk. That is our preference. And finally, this is how eggs are just running out. Because they will be oh Amaze. So I either do a maze or hostess, and this month Carrefour did not have a maze, so I got hostess, but I have gotten a maze at a different shop, so I bought it. So let's put away these eggies because for their price, a drawlet, <laughs> I don't want any accident, so let's put this away, and then we are going to do dinter my flowers are still flowering i've removed a few that have given up but we are still going strong so cute and i still don't have a vase so yep that's on that let's put these babies away so i get a crate for 480 bob in case where you live it's cheaper <laughs> Hook me up, hook a girl up, because the way we are chopping eggs, I need a hook up. And the guy has given me an extra one today because I have become a, a customer. I was like, eh, uh -huh, as it should be. But I'm that kind of person. What kind of buyer are you? Are you, um, when I find someone that does a good job i stick with them kind of consumer or are you a, i try a new spot every time kind of consumer because i am uh, when i find a great space i just keep going there i don't feel the need to explore not unless i am getting same quality for a cheaper price like price is the one thing that will make me move 
from a service provider very fast and that rarely happens like now for the case of these eggs i have been we used to get them at was it 490 a while back but then the guy who used to bring them stopped bringing them he used to bring them around our place so he just stopped so when i stopped seeing him i just looked for a different option and the option is panning out the option is working out real good and so i don't have a reason to move there not unless i get someone who is giving me a credit at 380 let me not bargain too much so these are my eggies i store them on top of my fridge so carefully there yeah i think that's okay i think my eggies are safe there i place them carefully on top of my fridge and yeah that's it my eggies are safe there y'all can see them so my uh what is it called the bones are going so i'll put this away i don't want to freeze i should freeze one or both will this guy take me tomorrow i don't know but let me let me oh i have an extra one here all right let me refill my I hate seeing fruit flies and street what not flying things everywhere. I don't like it. <laughs> so this is my unga jar. Can you people see me? Just need to make sure I'm in frame nicely. So how have you guys been? It's the fifth month of the year. I've been well, I've been amazing. And if there's something that I have learned since I turned 25, which was literally, was it a, a week or two weeks, two weeks ago, I, am, I have grown to have an appreciation for aging. And I know, it's easy to say, or rather trendy, let me use trendy for not easy, for easy. It's trendy to be young forever, 18, um, 25 forever. I know that's the trendiest option, but you know what? I have grown to have a deep appreciation for aging because... The truth is, I am not going to be 18 forever. In fact, I was 18 several years ago, and I am never going to experience 18 again. And that's just, that's reality. So, this year has come with a very <laughs> heavy awakening, for me especially, that aging is not as bad as I want to make it, you know? Growing older is not as bad as I want it to be in my mind. Because at times, the connotation of turning older is, is um, you are going out of style. You are, you are changing seasons, which is the truth. And changing seasons is amazing. And I have just, this past two weeks have given me such a great appreciation for aging like i am excited for 30. it's the wildest thing i am just excited to see who i'll be or what i'll be when i'm 30. it's it has become something exciting for me and yeah might be unpopular but for me in this stage i can't wait to be 30 and see who I'll be and see where I'll have gone in life. I am excited to see how that unfolds. So for now, when we are 25, we enjoy, we accept that we are 25 and we live in that season fully because next year will be a new season. It will be 
new lessons, it will be new experiences. And so when I have 25, oh, am I not going to enjoy it? I will enjoy it and enjoy it completely. So that is the space I have sort of been in. I'm just checking to see whether I'm in frame or I'm just blurbing away out of frame. So yeah, I've just grown to get to have that appreciation. And I don't know, it's I don't I don't even know how I can explain how this came about. But I remember when I was when it was like almost like two weeks to my birthday. I don't know what I was saying. And then someone was like, whether do you know you're turning 25? And for a second, I felt, I don't want to say offended. They did not say it in a, in a age, age kind of way, like the way you would see something and then someone will say, oh, you don't behave like a 25-year-old. No, it was not in that way. It was in a, oh, wow, do you know in less than two weeks you are going to be 25? And for a moment there, I felt offended. I was like, in my mind, I was like, no, they did not just say that. And then I started to really think about it as the day drew closer and to think about my journey and the beautiful things I have achieved and the beautiful journey God has brought me on. Don't get me wrong. It has had so many thorns, thorns that you know, some I'd rather keep to myself. But for the fact that I have gotten this far, that is a testament of God's goodness. And just getting that perspective and just being like, it's, it's the grace of God that has brought me to this age. So yeah, just as I was saying, so I came to a space of realizing that, you know what? There is a moment in time in my life I didn't think I would ever turn 20 or 25. Like, <laughs> it was bad. You know, like the anxiety, the fears, the wild thoughts, you know, depression and all that. It was a lot. The, the worries of this world. There's a period where that was so much, I could not see beyond, beyond 15 or, you know, and to just be in this space where God has graciously allowed this little girl to turn 25. Come on, somebody throw a grace party because I want to thank the Lord. Okay. So, yeah, just been in that space and I like it. I love it. I'm enjoying it thoroughly. And I've also just gotten this sense of, you know what, girl, if you're going to do it, just to do it. <laughs> if you're going to do it, just do it. There is no time. There is no time to just dilly-dally. If you're going to work, work. If you're going to change jobs, do it. If you're going to change your relationships, do it. If you're going to end a toxic friendship somewhere with a girlfriend, end it. Just do it if you're going to do it. It's never too early or too late. So, yeah. My bones have started, but mm, it's oily. I like it. This is going to be so yum. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Can people see that? <gasps> Can you already see the oil? I can already see it. Guys, I'm excited. I'm excited for what these bones have to offer us. And you know what? I have given you guys a long life update. <laughs> 22 minutes. And I think that's enough life update. Let us make dinner this could as well just be a spend the evening with me because that is exactly what it's going to be because i'll be at 22 minutes so let's make dinner <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think
Guys, I still have cake from my birthday. <laughs> so it's hidden away in the fridge. I forgot about it. Let's see if it's still fresh. Now we are just here playing. Mm. Nice. That is still really nice. So let me snack on this as I cook. <laughs> <laughs> So I have made cabbage here. That is burning. Nyani, chini ni mwambie. Mshika kuwili moja umponyoka. So we're gonna slap. We're gonna be yum. This is the soup. It's still boiling, and this is for my pasta. I can turn this a bit. So I've added a rosemary branch that I will take out once the meal is done. That is just tomatoes. Then I'm going to add my spices. Black. Coriander. I've shared this recipe so many times. This is uh, curry powder. And then I have mixed herbs they go in with this kidogo because i already have rosemary and then i have my roiko chicken roiko chicken as always in every meal she has to make an appearance so i'm going in with my roiko chicken And then I will cut in my sausage. Today I'm using two sausages. It's just for me. So I want to put in a sausage. Two in fact. And then, so these are them. So I'll just cut them up and add them here. And then I'll add my cheese make a good sauce and that will be it so yeah let me finish
Dean Star. Ooh, ooh, juicy. Mm. That cheese is literally the cherry on top. And I'm going to have this with my cabbage. Mm. That looks so yum. Mmm. Tastes even better. Done. So I am done with dinner for tonight. Let me bring you guys down. So I am done with dinner. And... I want to take my shower and then we will do my nighttime skincare routine with you guys and then I think we will call it a night so let me go and shower hi guys I'm from showering I want to plate my dinner with you all A beautiful pasta. The fact that this white stuff is cheese just is just discombobulating my mind. I had missed spaghetti so much. And that's why I made it. So load your pasta. I personally don't care that much for plating. hey guys thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed chilling with me this evening do the needful okay and i'll see you guys on the next one i really 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 enjoyed making this meal and enjoying it so yeah add some avo it's the cherry on top okay subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye